on the 17th of May, I flew into London to the airport. And the second that we touched down, the pilot said over to Tannoy, um, everyone have your passports ready because uh, the border control is just around the corner. As I descended onto the tarmac, it was clear there was a team of plainclothes officers intensively checking everyone's ID. The second that one officer saw my name, he said, right, come with me. I, I was then frog marched, you know, flanked by this team of six officers to a back room. Um, I was told that I would be detained on Schedule 3 of the 2019 Prevention of Terrorism Act. Then I you know, had to hand over my digital devices, my bank cards, passwords to my digital devices, my camera and phone memory cards. I was subject to an intensive search. And then I was grilled for five hours, by and large related to my journalism. But I think that they had a, a, a darker agenda. So tell me a little bit more about the terrorism act that they held you on. Britain has for a very long time had the most sweeping um, counter-terror laws in the Western world. They overturn you know, centuries old and hard fought for rights and protections and even freedoms that you know, average citizens enjoy and you know, grant the police sweeping and indeed often like very disconcertingly and disturbingly vague powers. So typically when people are stopped under the 2019 Act, it's under Schedule 7, which refers to you know, individual activity, which is a th potentially a threat to the state or potentially a threat to um, national security, which is, I mean, a disturbing proposition enough. But, but you know, Schedule 3 is even more um, Orwellian because it refers to uh, uh, alleged or suspected state threats. The obvious suggestion being that I and all my journalists posed a threat to the British state. Now, the wording of the law is such that someone can be or represent a state threat without intending to or wanting to or knowing they're doing it. And also without the kind of foreign enemy state on, on, on whose behalf they are acting, knowing or wanting them to either. So it's quite some conspiracy, isn't it?